Henry was instantly shocked when he saw the camera footage from his newly born baby's bedroom. His dog Max refused to leave the baby's room for days now, and after installing the camera, he finally found out why. But it wasn't what he expected. But how was he going to tell his wife this? This wasn't easy at all. Henry figured out it would be better to call the doctor first. Henry called the doctor and explained what he saw in the footage. The doctor seemed calm at first, but that soon changed after hearing the whole story. He told Henry that he and his baby boy Ricky had to come right away. The doctor told Henry that they had no time to lose. It sounded like it could be a life or death situation. When they arrived at the hospital, they immediately ran upstairs to the doctor's office. Apparently, there was no doctor. But where was he? It was the doctor himself that told Henry that he had to come right away. The frustration got the better of Henry, with him yelling at the personnel. It didn't take long after that for the doctor to arrive. Now they could finally figure out what was going on. The doctor asked questions about the pregnancy and how everything went after that. All the questions seemed fine, but the doctor seemed somewhat restless. Shortly after the questions, he told Henry and Charlotte that he had to run some tests. Henry and Charlotte didn't really know what was going on, but the doctor knew he had to test this straight away. He activated his assistant to help him right away. He knew he couldn't let their parents wait long. Luckily, the test results arrived very quick. When the doctor saw the test results, he was surprised and even a bit mad. The doctor actually had relieving news for Henry, Charlotte, and Ricky. Everything seemed okay with their child. They were sent home. Obviously, Henry and Charlotte were both relieved. But Henry couldn't help the fact that he found this strange. Henry didn't understand the behavior and wanted to know what was going on. It hadn't anything to do with Ricky. But why did his dog Max not want to leave his room? Surely, it had to be a sign. So he came up with a great idea. He still had a security camera from their old house that he had stored. He installed the cameras right away to see if there was some suspicious behavior from his dog to be seen. The next morning, Henry wanted to check the footage immediately. He sneaked out of his bedroom into the living room with his laptop. Henry watched the footage and was surprised when he found out where the dog was heading to. He walked up to a corner of the room and kept sitting there. It seemed like there was something beneath. Henry walked into Ricky's room and checked the corner, but there was something that he didn't expect. There was a hatch hidden there beneath the surface. Was there a big secret? There was a black box in the hatch. He was too scared to open it, and many questions arose at the same time. Henry initially had no idea who could have put the black box there. He was already living in that house for eight years now, and he had never seen that hidden hatch in that room. Henry decided to call his father-in-law since he had helped him build the baby room. Maybe he has noticed that hatch. Henry explained about the hidden hatch and asked if he noticed it while rebuilding the baby room. His father-in-law told Henry that he hadn't seen anything during the rebuilding of the baby room. Henry found the whole situation very strange because of who put that black box there. And besides this, he was also curious about what could be in there. Henry had just this creepy feeling about this black box. So maybe the police could take over this entire situation. Henry called the police and told the entire situation to them. Everything seemed to be chill, but when Henry gave his address of residence, the tone of the police officer immediately switched and said, We will come right now. Stay where you are. What is happening here? Thought Henry. It only took minutes when the police arrived at Henry's house, but they didn't come with one or two police cars. No, they emerged with five of them. Henry was confused about this, because why would this many police officers come to his house for this small occurring situation? Henry was about to open the door when the police entered the house themselves by smashing the door. The police went straight into the action and shouted that they needed to evacuate the house. Multiple police officers immediately ran upstairs to the baby's room. It seemed like they knew exactly that the baby room was there. This entire situation just didn't make sense to Henry. Two other police officers jumped on Henry and said, You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. Without any explanation, Henry was thrown into the police car, and they drove at high speed to the police station. Henry was baffled about everything that was happening. When Henry arrived at the police station, 
it seemed like everyone knew what was happening. They looked at Henry with great disgust, and Henry just thought, why? He didn't do anything wrong, so why is he being treated like such a vicious criminal? Henry was immediately put in the interrogation room with two other agents. Henry had never been in an interrogation room before, and it frightened him a little. Henry thought deeply about every word he wanted to say, but he just chose to just be honest about everything that had happened. In the end, he was innocent, and he knew that. So he hoped that telling the truth would set him free. Henry told everything that happened, and he did that in great detail just to let those officers know that he is telling the truth. After speaking for almost 30 minutes, Henry hoped that they would release him, but in contrast. The police officers looked Herney straight in the eye and said, you are lying and you won't get away with this. Henry almost went crying because he was just baffled about everything happening to him. What did he do wrong? Henry recovered and knew the legal system a bit, so he demanded to see his lawyer. That's my right, yelled Henry to the police officers. The officers looked at each other, and their reaction was bizarre. The officers said, no, you are not going to speak to your lawyer. You have to confess everything. We know it's you, Henry. Just confess. Henry was astounded by what they were saying. What did he need to confess? Henry is innocent. Henry was frustrated because those officers were obstructing his civil rights. Henry knew they couldn't do things like this because it would put their jobs at risk. He told this to those agents, and eventually they gave in, and Henry was finally able to call his lawyer. Henry was quite unsure which lawyer to call. He had never been in this situation before, but he had a friend who was a lawyer, so calling him now was the best possible thing to do. So he called his friend and told him he was in jail. He immediately went on his way. His friend arrived at the police station, and Henry explained everything to him in detail. His friend was stunned by everything that had happened. How could the police react like that? He told Henry to calm down. Everything will be fine, he said. Time to destroy those cops. Both Henry and his friend, the lawyer, went back into the interrogation room. His friend told him not to say anything and to let him do the talking. Henry agreed and left the talking to his friend. In seconds, the police officers were convinced. Then the police suddenly came with some mugshots of some creepy-looking guys. Henry didn't understand why, but the officers asked if Henry recognized one of the people in those mugshots. And yes, Henry did. Henry told the officers that he did indeed recognize something in the photos. The agents immediately jumped off their seats in amazement and asked who he recognized from the mugshots. They said this could be decisive, so Henry was forced to tell. It turned out that one of the guys was the former owner of the house. Henry had seen him during the sale of the house. He looked very normal then, but he could clearly see that he was not so sweet in that mugshot photo. It turned out that this former owner of the house was a criminal who was on the top wanted list worldwide. He disappeared years ago, and that black box provided the right direction to catch him. It turned out that in that black box were all the secret safe houses of the criminal. So after going into nearly 15 safe houses, they finally saw him and arrested him straight away. After being on the run for 10 years, the police finally took him into custody. Henry was finally able to go, and the officers apologized for the whole situation that had happened to him. They should have approached him normally and maybe considered his background. They thought maybe he was helping this criminal. Henry returned and he was happy that everything had turned out well. He was back in his own home, and when his wife and baby arrived, he felt so happy to be with them again.